Well, this is a familiar sight in Delhi. Throngs of people, a sort of crush of human, animal, and motor traffic. India is the second most populous country in the world, with a population over just a billion people. And there's something unique that researchers have recently discovered about this population of Indians. About 4% of them carry a gene. If they have it, they're almost guaranteed to have heart disease. That's one in 25 of all these people all around me. And most of them don't even know they have it. At the Radha Sham Mandir temple in the small Indian town of Sonapat, Panditji pays respect to the deities of his Hindu Orthodox tradition. Living the ascetic life of a priest, one might be surprised to learn he shares an affliction increasingly common among Indians. Panditji tells me about the day three years ago when a heart attack struck him without warning. A culture which traditionally frowns upon smoking and embraces the idea of a vegetarian diet, India seems devoid of many classic risk factors for heart disease. But it's quickly and quietly becoming ground zero for the world's leading cause of death. Researchers say the country will likely account for 60% of heart disease patients anywhere, everywhere, by 2010. For years we've known that the Indian population seemed predisposed to heart disease, but always missing was the why, until now. Just this January, a groundbreaking study in Nature Genetics. A team of international researchers found that one in 25 Indians carry a genetic mutation which raises the risk of heart disease. One percent of the world's population carries this mutation, and in India, the mutation reaches a frequency of four percent. What's striking is that the mutation is virtually restricted to people from the Indian subcontinent and that it almost guarantees the development of heart problems. The mutation leads to the formation of an abnormal protein, resulting often in cardiomyopathy, a disease causing deterioration of the heart muscle. Before I left for India, I was curious about my own chances for carrying this mutation. I was able to be tested at Emory University, where I serve on the faculty. This looks pretty nice, right? Nice room. Researchers say people of Indian ancestry can test positive. My family has a history of heart problems. My results? So the results here essentially show that uh, Dr. Gupta is negative for the mutation for the heart failure gene. It didn't escape me that I'm lucky on several counts. I don't have the genetic predisposition for heart disease. And I have access to a sophisticated battery of genetic testing equipment to find that out. But it's no surprise most Indians don't know they're carrying the mutation because access to testing is still not readily available. Back in New Delhi, I board a public city bus with cardiologist Dr. Praveen Chandra. Do you think that people should get tested for this gene? Is, is there an advantage? Being right treated? now we don't know because we don't know as to how to treat this gene. So this information is really very preliminary and uh, as to what will be the real impact on the population or on the people, we still do not know. They say that by the year 2010, 60% of the heart disease burden will be right here, among all the people we're riding this bus yeah. with. What do you do about that as a cardiologist? Yeah, as a cardiologist, what we do is, uh, we can't do really population-based measures, but what we're doing is we go out to the community, we go and uh, hold regular checkup camps, we teach them as to what we eat, We are just 70 kilometers away from New Delhi now. It's just 70 kilometers, but I can tell you it feels like an entirely different world. Everything is different here. It's really remarkable. And this is Haryana, which is one of the largest states in India. But one of the things that really struck me, according to doctors who we talked to, there's only 10 to 12 cardiologists for this entire population. But I don't want you to think that all hope is lost. Even as we were walking down this dusty street, a glimmer of hope, we saw this an angiography and angioplasty suite. Batra Heart Care Center is tiny, only one major operating room. But embedded within this modest facility, we found state-of-the-art medical equipment for detecting and treating coronary artery disease. Eight years ago, it was the first cardiac catheterization lab in the entire state of Haryana. Now there are four. Heart care challenges remain in India. So too do ancient ways of life and ritual. And for the first time, at least the why of the Indian heart disease mystery 
has been answered. And that's our look around the world at news vital to your health. We thought we'd close the show with a beautiful shot of the sun setting. Behind me there is the Prime Minister's offices and behind that, the Presidential Palace. Incidentally, the Presidential Palace is the largest residence of any head of state in the world. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Thanks for watching Vital Science.